Blog Talk Radio. Yeah, goody, goody, goody. Here we go. Now, <laughs> there's a whole lot of fun and games going on, and uh, I'm going to play a song for the simple fact of what it says. Now, <laughs> this is by Uriah Heap from the album Look at Yourself. It's got, a, got the eyeballs and a big old mirror on it. One of the albums I bought when it first came out. I heard this song and it was more than I could stand. So what I want you to do is pay attention as to what it says. It's a protest song, but I think you might enjoy it. Yeah, now, I hope you listen to the words of that because that has a uh, direct effect on the title of this, Bogus War. There is, are, more deep reasons for the shutdown. <laughs> I'll get into that a little later. However... Uh, to start off with, <clears throat> how far are we in the toilet? Um, <laughs> you realize you got what you got to do to restart things. My my, after all this, what will be left? Are a lot of the peripherals still going to be there? Some of them little stores closed up, and them people retired, went home. Deeper reasons for the shutdown was the next next one. However. We have a bogus war. Why do I say that? Well, we'll get into that as we go. Look into history, and you will see that every time the world went to war, every bit of everything was focused on the effort. Now, I'm going to hit that again. Look into history. You guys get to do your own homework. I ain't doing it for you. (laughs) Look into history, and you will see that every time the world went to war, every bit of everything was focused on the effort. Start out with quinine water, known as tonic water. Yeah, troops used to get the tablets to mix in their canteens. Now, this drug has been, both of them, have been approved since the uh, First World War. Uh, Think about that. It's 1917. And yet they're going, oh, we got to look at this and approve it. Uh, Hey, dude, quit playing with yourself and get done with it. If it didn't work, why did the DOD issue, issue it to troops in the tropics? Hello. <laughs> Most camping and sports supplies have it, so go get some. It comes in tablets you can mix with water and a few other manners. Can it really be that simple? Yep, it can. Uh, then you got this uh, idiot Michigan governor threatens doctors over prescribing quinine. Okay, Gov, instead of, a, of this... Horse hockey reaction. How about do your homework? Huh? Come on. This has worked on these families of ours this is for thousands of years. The Egyptians used it back in the day of the Pharaoh. You might you guys might want to start looking the stuff up and maybe calling up the government and saying, Hey, maybe. And I'll qualify that in a minute. If great big uh, humongous capitalized if any of this is taken seriously, those in power will order quinine for everyone. It don't taste good. I tell you right straight up off the top it makes the water taste like crap. But if it keeps a little bite from the mosquito f- from uh, killing me, I- I'll drink some. And I drank a lot when I was in. Uh, and not just quinine water either, uh, in uh, Vietnam. Note, new excuses for refusal to vote. One being, wait for members of the House to return. Uh, That were, uh, those were overridden Friday. Now, there's a lot of things in this that a lot of people miss. The reason they miss them is because they don't know to look or what to look for. Maybe sending our military to pick them up and return them for the vote would work. Now, guess what? Wouldn't be the first time. It's been done before. Uh, I got a big old red star, obviously. Uh, And this includes all of you Democrats that think you're so cute. Obviously, our representatives have shown that our lives and our country don't mean much. They could have voted on this thing a, yeah, a while ago and got it all in, all uh, working a little bit about a week ahead of what we're doing now. Being uh, under most every kind of emergency we have does give this power to the Fed. 
It's like I said, it's been done before. They declared war and they went out and picked up everybody and brought them back. Uh, these reps were told to stay in D.C. by varying people at varying levels and left anyway. Need to vote them out of office. <laughs> Senators, bye-bye. House of Representatives, bye-bye. Um, my take on this, my consensus is very simple. You violated your oath of office and therefore need to be removed. The relief package passed on Friday, 32720, by a voice vote. That means those who were there said so, and <laughs> Trump signed it that afternoon. I mean, we're trying to get this done. I think the president's doing everything he can within certain reason. One battle over. Now, this is where the fun begins, but the next begins. In the beginning of this, I stated that America needs quinine and needs it for everyone. Quinine kills almost all of the, all the family that our present virus is a part of. Make quinine available to the general population, and the people could be done with this problem. Think about it. The collateral damage is larger than any in our history. It's going to take something <laughs> and some and a whole lot of elbow grease and, and work to put things back up again. The reason for the shutdown involves a global plan. I told you I'd get into this. <laughs> global plan for all countries to adopt our Republican form of government. I hope everybody keyed in on that. <clears throat> Nobody's supposed to know that. So I figured I'd put it on the show as classified information uh, <clears throat> that becomes declassified when I release it. There you go. And you guys can, you guys out there that are all sputtering and going ape shit, I'll tell you what, check with the people that are in charge of things like the Pentagon, and you'll find the permission slip is there. It ain't for my mama either. Think about that. As I hear this is being done behind the scenes, I'm with you. <laughs> behind, being done behind the scenes, that means there's nobody supposed to know about it. It's supposed to be a big surprise for everybody. The neat, neat thing about it uh, is that it's being done. Uh, a lot of people go, ooh, uh, you know, this, that, and the other thing. No, just this specifically. That's the first step. There are several others, about half a dozen of them all together. Anyway, I watch the news for a lot of reasons. Most people don't. Turns their stomachs to bed, they can't stand themselves. And the wives don't want them puking up beer all over them. So, you know, now you ain't watching that. If you watch, there are a lot of things. Um, and when I say things, that's all inclusive. That's a royal things. Um, a lot of things in the videos that a person can pick up on. You got to look close. You got to be, uh, you got to look at the eye movement. You have to look at the, uh, all the tells an individual has. Yeah. Ooh. A gambler's term, my, my, my. <clears throat> As most know, I get a huge amount of rumors and BS, better known as bullshit. I mean, it's great for <laughs> fertilizing little spots in the pasture, but other than that, you know, uh, <laughs> fun and games. Now, here's a rumor that seemed to have a little validity, uh, and you got to watch the, the several videos in order to pick up on it. <clears throat> One rumor, and I got this underlined and quotated in red, all this other happy whatever, and there's reasons for that. Um, <laughs> One rumor was a forced vote. Now, <laughs> I mean uh, nasty, and when I say forced, in this case, Pelosi was offered a good old godfather deal, vote or die. Oh, so what? You hear that crap all the time. She was arrested, da, 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 whatever. I'll tell you what you do. Get the hold of that video of her walking down the hallway. Take a close look at her as she walked the hallway to the house chamber. She was pale from fear, very pale. Somebody had got up next to her and said, Ooh, we're going to cut off pieces of you and... When we get down to a certain point, we're going to barbecue you. <laughs> Think about it. I know this kind of thing isn't the best validation, but 
Seeing Pelosi experiencing that level of anxiety, <laughs> well, <laughs> there's things that uh, need to be done to, to um, her and her like um, that good Christians uh, won't do. However, it was a breath of fresh air to me. I mean, I just looked at that and went, oh, yes, finally. Then, during Trump's briefing, there's another piece of information. There were both mentions and hints that some old-school remedies were, are, being explored, specifically the two kinds of quinine. I think he's told the uh, <coughs> CDC and the FDA to get off of the pot, quit playing with it. You can give somebody an inoculation of that stuff. Uh, <coughs> all you got to do is just let them drink the water after you mix them in. And if they suddenly start improving, you know it works. Now, having been approved back in back around the turn of the twentieth century, nineteen during the during the First World War, we went into the tropics, believe it or not. And oh my God, you know what a mess that was. Well, they come up with this thing uh, where um, <laughs> you didn't have to worry about it. all you had to do. You're gonna drink water anyway. Put a little of this stuff in there, and you'd be fine. Maybe. Just maybe the virus will be defeated, and very quickly. I'm going to say that one again. Maybe, just maybe, the virus will be defeated, and very quickly. Remember, Trump says got this bodacious idea that we can open up uh, <coughs> in the very near future, back in business. Well, here's the deal. If so, the major cause for the market's meltdown can be addressed. It's a little bit separate from everybody getting closed down. That's a big part of it, but it's not as big as the other part. Estimates of timelines, and this is, these are not my um, stipulations. These come from consummate experts in, field, in fields that study this crap 24-7. All right? Estimates of timelines for recovery is three to six weeks on the virus. Three to six weeks is gone. Six to eight weeks on the economy. Now I'm talking about fully up, running back to uh, what whatever you want to call normal. Thing is, there is a pandemic, another one, and this one is something that uh, <laughs> you got to go there to see it. You can not believe it. Pandemic of ghost towns and neighborhoods. A lot of people simply left. Now I just posted something on uh, Facebook. About this, I posted. I posted. I did another post of it on uh, the show itself, and it's talking about people migrating, just like I told you would happen. Okay, now here's another one of them big old capitalized ifs. If the virus is taken out, there will be a great flood of people with cabin fever. Everybody's going to want to come out and party or whatever. That's to be expected, and I understand that, and I don't disagree with it necessarily. The reality of back to work and going after that paycheck comes to roost. Oh, i got to go back to work. Yeah, it was kind of uh, uh, – my kids might not be the best behaved in the, on the planet, but I was enjoying sitting on the couch. Now, the question becomes a, a, sort of a – it's a collateral kind of a question – but it's uh, uh, critically important to a lot of people. Who wants to climb back into that rut of life, rut life of endless same old, same old? Uh, think about that very carefully. This is an opportunity to change things around to a point where um, you might actually enjoy going to work. <laughs> uh, now here's the, here's the key. In terms of a timeline, you want a timeline, you want dates, you want specifics, I'm going to give you just a few. I'm not going to give them all out. can't do that. I would, that would mess up the uh, agenda, and the agenda is huge. By Monday, 3-30-20, all right? <laughs> That's the 30th of this month. <clears throat> Several things will be known, and the way you know how this is going Watch what the markets tell you about investments, bonds, and the Baltic Dry Index. Those are the three keys, or three of the keys. You need to be aware of international trade because of America's major screw-up. We stepped on our own 
uh, whatever's uh, <laughs> boldly and with intention got it caught in our zipper or however you want to look at it, it was not cool. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with the, with the main word. Uh, outsourcing showed the fault of relying on other countries for raw and finished goods. Outsourcing. Medicines and chemicals or rare earth elements are and can be found here. Trump's been stipulating that. How about we go, how about we uh, go back to some of that pioneering uh, spirit and stipulate that uh, we need to do it our our damn selves? I think that uh, something that's uh, manufactured in India and assembled in China by Mexicans sucks canal water. (laughs) They don't last, don't work right. Okay. We can. And (laughs) this is critically important. People don't get this. But... We can manufacture everything we want or need right here. Trump's been saying that, too. Brunt, come on back. We'll make sure that it, we'll make it worth your while. Uh, you know, and <laughs> there's a lot of countries right now that are going, oh, man, don't pull our, our only manufacturing out. Why not? You guys have profited uh, plenty enough from it. <laughs> it's our turn to get our uh, goodies going on our side. Now, here's the fun. <clears throat> Get ready for everything to be overloaded. And I mean everything. Too much overtime, not enough workers, and a real need for automation. <laughs> now, <laughs> we, are, we have a certain limited number of people in this country that can do only do so much, and that's one of the problems with what we're looking at. The reason being is that you have a lot of pent-up demand. People want this, that, or the other thing, and they're going to go crazy when that cabin fever is is unlocked and they open the door. Get ready for everything to be overloaded, everything. Now, when I say everything, all-inclusive, everything you can think of. Following the implementation of a one-world government representative system, Expect those ETs to make contact and land. Woohoo! Yeah, that's right. That's what I've been told by upstairs. They're done playing games with things, and they're ready to do it. What does that mean? Well, that means a whole bunch of different things uh, to a whole bunch of people. Let's see what we got here. Oh. <laughs> I almost left out the deep state. People just don't uh, don't get this. But there's the old funky song I found. I downloaded it and put it on on this channel. It's called Waterloo. Now you don't know what Waterloo is? Look it up. You're gonna be shocked as to what this as to what this is talking about. Yeah, you got to hold your nose to hit some of them notes. Now, everybody needs to get ready. Everybody needs to get ready. Changes are coming, and I, you need to get ready for the changes. You're liable to end up being able to uh, uh, shake hands with one of these uh, so-called non-existent ETs. Uh, <laughs> but the thing about it is this. Um, what is it? that everybody's looking for. You want to get out of that rough rut life that you had? I mean, <laughs> every once in a while somebody sticks their head up and, they, and somebody plays whack-a-mole with their, with their cranium and, yeah, get back down in there. What's the matter with you? Well, um, there's a whole lot of um, fun and games coming, coming about. And it's not just... Uh, what I'm talking about on here, but the uh, fact that a lot of these, uh, oh, you can call them snowflakes or pansies or whatever you want to call them, but uh, I read things that normally would cause your, uh, cause a billy goat to puke. I'm sort of a Rambo in that respect. Now, <laughs> uh, there's a magazine that if everybody's interested Anybody's interested in knowing what the enemy's doing, I recommend it. 
Why do I recommend it? Well, there's only one thing in here that really makes any uh, difference. One of the things is an article. Uh, <laughs> Joshua uh, Leifer uh, wrote, and it uh, deals with the lion's den. Zionism and left from Hannah Arendt to Noam Kaminsky. Well, Kaminsky is cited as being uh, Mr. Red Letter Boy. <laughs> and the problem is that he was no, long, no more right than anybody else. Think about this very carefully. Uh, <laughs> the letter of resignation. Now, Cohn, his hands Cohn, to resign from the from the Brit Shalom, the bi, uh, binationalist Zionist organization. The letter of resignation. He denounced the immeasurable barbarity of the eviction of Palestinian tenants from land bought by Zionist settlement organizations like the Jewish National Fund. They come in with a, a friggin' uh, bulldozer, and you best be out of the house. <laughs> they are going to flatten that sucker and run it off of there. Anyway, the, uh, there's an editorial. And Jeet here, I guess that's how you pronounce his name. There's no instruction, so I'm just guessing. He put together Soap and Socialism. Well, I titled it How to Start Civil War Two, and I marked out the soap and put in all socialism. They're going to try to blame things that don't quite exist. Now, the shutdown has created economic problems in our country, among other things, as everybody knows. When it's shut down, nobody's paying rent, <laughs> etc. So everything kind of stops. The coronavirus. Here we go. <laughs> they hit it right off. Help to popularize an essential truth. There are no libertarians in a pandemic. Oh, the rapid spread of uh, 19 is already ripping apart both America's fragile health care system, well, that's being fixed, by the way, and its economy, and its economy. Well, everything's shut down. You ain't going to have an economy. Stock market crash is the first symptom. That's horse hockey and a lie. What started it was the UAE uh, and Russia having a an oil price war. That's what started that started it. Of course, the shutdown didn't help. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> is merely the first symptoms of what will soon be a system wide crisis, one that could rival not just 2008 but also 1929. A vaccine could be 18 to 24 months off. That's possible for vaccine, but treatment. No, it's not 18 to 20. It's within two weeks at the longest. Oh, and everybody loves me saying two weeks. Um, and then they're looking at global outbreak come, uh, becoming a series of waves, like the, as with the Spanish flu. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, guess what? In reaction to the pandemic, even very conservative politicians are embracing uh, embracing sweeping responses. And here you go. <laughs> Pelosi, universal coronavirus, coronavirus testing, food assistance, extended sick leave, sick leave measures are limited. Ooh, upwards of 80%. Now, listen to this lie. Upwards of 80% of America wor American workers wouldn't be covered by the measure. That's a friggin' lie. <laughs> Boy, didn't read, didn't read, didn't read. And if he did, he didn't understand what he did read. The best response to the crisis is a robust social democracy. Sensible measures? No. <laughs> and that is the uh, robust social democracy is not the correct response. Universal basic income. Job guarantees. Have you heard this before? Banks suspend mortgage payments. Uh, ban on evictions, nationalization of factories. Now, <laughs> you put all that together, and you got a you got a rather fat socialist uh, agenda there. And the problem is, that all of this is being done without turning to socialism. Oh, poor little snowflakes! <laughs> I hope you melt. The fix the faction in U.S. politics best uh, position to make arguments for large scale social democratic social democratic spending is the insurgent left. Oh, 
my goodness, led by Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Whoa, what a group that is. Um, I would suggest that they might want to uh, uh, get a good look as to how they appear in an orange jumpsuit. Tragic. Best uh, best hope for America, a united front on the left that pressures congressional Democrats to make maximum demands. They tried that crap. Your your uh, <laughs> your Christmas list didn't fly. Think about it. It didn't make it. it didn't come close. Yeah, I drop, I'm dropping the phone. That wakes people up on the other end. Then we got the week. Oh, at war with the virus. Not. America shut down this case's mouth. That's true. Uh, <laughs> then I can't believe it, but editor in chief William Falk, when the doors of my computer chain loose up in the Grand Central, it was empty. Oh my God! <laughs> Maximize the number of deaths, minimize the number of deaths, and the damage. Nineteen will inflict. We need to cooperate, sacrifice for the greater good, and take care of those who lose their jobs or become sick. We are each other's keepers. Now, that's been that's been around since the Bible. Deeper truths often are delivered in the envelope of crisis. No man is an island, all this other happy shit. We Americans and all of humanity are at war with a common foe. We can only defeat it together. That is true. Coronavirus paralyzes the US. Well I'm all, I put a question shots. Well, we don't got nothing ready. And <laughs> The CDC, by the way, should be done with any uh, questions. Hello, CDC. Somebody can send them this if they want. Uh, the CDC ought to be done with their questions and understand that these, uh, both of these uh, uh, drugs have been approved a long time ago. No side effects. You hear that? Oh, no side effects. And <laughs> my goodness. You know, uh, <laughs> What does it take to get somebody to wake up? We can take the par- paralyzation right off. Uh, <laughs> and they got one in here. And I know how long this thing takes to be published, and I hate to tell you, somebody's using this for filler. Biden extends his commanding lead over Sanders. Sanders quit. Hello? <laughs> okay, now here's another one. Uh, they really love Trump. Trump. And he recovered from bungling the pandemic. The only thing, the only bunglers he had to deal with with it were Democrats who refused, for whatever reason they, you know, my my wuss hurts or whatever their excuse was not to vote. They drug that out for at least a week, longer maybe. Think about that. Uh, now here's the deal: we have the the virus totally under control, and that's true. Depends on the application and how deep it goes as to what we end up with. Borders closed. Canada has closed their borders. Ooh, Russia is closing their borders. I don't know if China closed their borders already totally, but um, Paris, war footing. We are at war. Uh huh. Blame America, Beijing. <laughs> Here's a good one. Um, Shared a report. Now, this is the um, uh, Zao. Uh, <laughs> U.S. owes us an explanation. Louis Zao. He later report shared a report by a Canadian conspiracy outfit that claimed the virus leaked from U.S. bioweapons lab. In fact, scientists agree scientists agree that the virus originated at an exotic animal market in Wuhan. That's horse hockey cover-up. They opened the Pandora's box. I won't admit it. Mm Mm-mm. No, no, no. You realize how much trouble they'd get in? That'd be one of those Nancy Pelosi things. They wouldn't ask uh, to do this so we don't have to kill you. (laughs) They just kill you. Should I get an order to legal immigration? Well, the the problem is this. It's very simple. Too many welfare basket cases. Think about that very, very closely. (laughs) Mm. restaurants will be first casualties they're all closed well a lot of them closed permanently 
a lot of them turned around and sold everything that they had to either to other restaurants or people who wanted to buy the equipment. They're done. They're gone. Gone. Depending on China's uh, medications, we make our own. Trump stipulated that, and we can do that without a problem. Oh, boy. Prisons could see a viral nightmare. Well, that's already starting. <laughs> you want to get into the into the fullness of things? Well, uh, the Ukraine. A panicking president faces up to reality. Reality is catching up to the Ukraine's comedian turned president. Uh, <clears throat> panic and powerlessness. Oligarchs who really run the Ukraine are telling him what to do. Then we go to Sweden. Far right authoritarians are in waiting. Experiment in far right governance has been a disaster. Twenty five municipal managers have quit since the takeover, citing bullying, abuses, harassment, and slander. Yeah, union representatives say they have been threatened. I mean <laughs> bullying ethos doesn't just uh, isn't just limited to those who work directly with the town. Residents <laughs> protest cuts to municipal services, think about this, weren't uh, listened to respectfully as is the norm in Sweden, but were treated as if they had made an attack on the people's government. Reporters were flanked by two city workers. This is what happens when a racist movement takes power. We end up with fear, silence, and a dying democracy. Mm. Here we go. Italy, life in the center of a viral storm. Ah. Lombardi now resembles a war zone. That's why that's a quote. Newspaper uh, <laughs> now has 11 pages of death notices. There used to be one. Italy is under lockdown. It's found itself alone in a fight against an aggressive enemy without government support. Woohoo! Think about that. What would happen if we, if, if everybody in, in America just turned their back on everything? Think about that mess. Really? How this is, China steps up and the U.S. steps back. This is partially true. Claims that China's authoritarian system saved the planet because it was able to enforce a quarantine on tens of millions of people. Not quite. You had trouble maintaining people, maintaining control of people uh, <laughs> in major cities. Soaring antagonism and widening trust deficit is likely that, that is unlikely that Beijing and Washington will find a way to cooperate on this. Don't bet on it. Oh, boy. Western hypocrisy on lockdowns. The measures that China took early on to halt the spread worked. <laughs> Philippines, what if you can't wash your hands? Many Filipinos la still lack access to basic sanitation. <laughs> they don't have a way to uh, wash their hands. They don't have bathrooms. The toilet is local water supply. Oh, boy. Uh, here's another lie. Fox News. Why Republicans don't fear the virus? Well, maybe Dems don't care. <laughs> maybe we should get into guns. Gun and ammunition sales are surging in states hit hard hit by the new coronavirus. Major supplier, supplies are out of stock, and customers have been lining up outside gun shops. That's a, from the L.A. Times. Um, I told you it was coming up five times normal. Downtown Seattle, ghost town. America shut down. Civic life, life goes dark. All life, life goes dark. Grocery store shelves are barren. Tech industry employee, employees are working at home. And downtown areas are early silent. What's the new reality? Ghost towns? Ooh. Hospitals, a, a hospitals, a dire shortage of, of beds. How many army cots does the military have available that they're not using? Bring them on. You want a bed? That's better than on, being on the floor. The gig economy. An epidemic hits Texas underclass. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's closed. Not much you can do for something that's closed. you got to open it up and see where it goes. What happens with it? Ah. Uh, then they got a nice political cartoon. This lady's got a, one of them little carry-along baskets for shopping. White House credibility, Oval Office integrity, second sound judgment, Trump competence, personal intelligence. I, 
that's supposed to have been on the shore, on the on the uh, shelves, and the shelves are bare. Think about that very carefully. <laughs> oh mercy! It does not get worse, get better. It gets worse. The reason being is that there is no uh, specific, direct way to assess what's going on. It might be a good idea if we all got a hold of somebody that is in an airport and checked up. Ooh, now try this one. Everybody's talking about this is this and that's that. Well, it only got mentioned a couple of times. Now, that oil war <laughs> between uh, UAE, UAE and Russia, the U.S. crude oil prices fell this week to 24. Well, it's down to 22. It's even lower. The <laughs> lowest point since 2002 as Saudi Arabia and Russia continue to ramp up production in an oil price war. Now, try this. In one day last week, 343,000 people were ride, downloaded the, the Zoom video conferencing app. I've had that for years. It works great. It works within the um, Skype system, but it really, you know, 60,000 in the U.S. compared with 90,000 people globally and 27,000 in the U.S. just two months ago. Interesting, huh? Uh, box office sales tanked because they're closed. U.S. toilet paper sales were up 60% for the week ending March 7th. If you can find any, you might be able to buy it. Compared with the same period a year ago, according to Nielsen, sales of hand sanitizer and aerosol disinfectants went up even more. 470 percent and 313 percent, respectively. Who? Ah, you want a hand sanitizer that works? <laughs> oh my! Apple cider vinegar kills it. Oh, and you can also uh, put about a, a, a oh half inch, give or take, or a finger in the bottom of a big glass filled with water. Drink it, and for the inside, you guess what happens? <laughs> Falls over dead. Finance. <laughs> These are best columns. Business, okay. Finance. Who can save the economy? Nobody. It takes us. We are the economy. These people missed it. Oh, escaping the curse from hell. Oh, my God. Passengers on board the Grand Princess only gradually came to realize, to realize they were central figures in the coronavirus pandemic. Mary Corrin in The Guardian said Mary Corrin in The Guardian. And the President of the United States didn't want them back. We're a crock of shit. Uh, escaping a cruise, uh, cruise from hell? Well, it's getting worse. Think about being uh, captured on the high seas under duress to get away. It could be, it could be really nasty. Now, the main things that people have to understand is that I'm trying to find a, song, a song here. Here we go. You've heard this before, but it's appropriate. What you got to do is suck it up and keep going anyway, as the as the Brits like to refer to it. That's a good, good, good deal. Now, uh, you'll be able to sleep peacefully when things open back up. Uh, back to the norm. Had to find on these days, but should be cultivated in abundance. Yes. Uh, we'll be listening. Okay, Linda. Uh, is there a conspiracy, conspiracy issued against Trump and Putin? Yes, absolutely. Um, the problem is that uh, no one understands that the, the trident has been formed. There was a meeting on the Russian-Chinese border. Trump was there. They all three agreed to work together. Now, think about that very carefully. Trump is in charge. Like that one? Oh, boy. Uh, why have we not heard Russia's response to COVID-19? It's out there, Miles says. Uh, Russia will initiate a complete shutdown of its borders starting Monday in order to curb the pandemic. So, no traffic. Think about that very carefully. Uh, Two-thirds of the agricultural production comes to U.S. and Russia. Our whole world is going to have to eat, I don't know, Bob, maybe uh, 
uh, maybe, and just maybe, there's enough uh, in the pipeline to take care of our needs on a sudden ship basis. Think about that. You think this hasn't been thought through or that uh, plans haven't been made to cover it? You're not following things well enough. Now the kid cisterns are cleaned with bleach. Think about it. Your comment on free range, can you explain why they did this? Yeah, bleach kills most everything. Often uses disinfectant, uh, Freud, uh, <laughs> bleach is often used to disinfect the water for drinking. Folks have uh, been doing this for a long time. Get the chlorinated, uh, unscented bleach. Most people for, forgot or forget or not aware at all, uh, <clears throat> almost pale municipal water supply systems use chlorine to concentrate, concentrate similar to the nature of the chlorinated bleach. And many swimming pools use it, use it as well. Kills most everything. Okay? Joe says, thanks. Uh, I never suspected it did. My dad used it, uh, if I remember correctly. People with wells put a gallon of bleach Straight up bleach down her well, among others, other things that it's used for. Ah, here we go. <laughs> ah, Jason got a good question here. Since the Grand Council is now being assembled, how are the dozen world representatives selected? Well, now that is internal. They don't want me to really put a whole lot out about this yet because it's not as far from completed. Are they a dozen for the whole damn planet or a dozen per country? Well, you're going to start out with a, with a group uh, from each country, different areas. They make up a list. Then one or two representatives from that get together with the other 188 representatives. Yeah. <laughs> and they, just, they then both decide on who would be best to present these things uh, en masse to the people, to the entities that can fix it. Are they... It doesn't hold down plenty of it. What will be their qualifications? Uh, pro, a compliment, uh, it'll be complimentary. Uh, you're going to have some who are humanitarian, which is, is just fine. Uh, and what's interesting about that aspect is that you're going to find a lot of um, capability suddenly. Uh, will they be incarnates or just a bunch of random ass? <laughs> now, now. Random asses, huh? Well, here's the deal. Um, a majority of these people, these representatives, will be incarnates. Um, there will be random uh, selections as well. You have to understand that you've got to keep this in balance. Will there be martial law on, on this month? The answer is, well, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We're doing everything uh, uh, as well as it can be done right now with everything we got. Orson Welles is coming. Oh, now quit it, Mickey. <laughs> Some of these comments are really funny, I tell you. Okay, now, uh, quinine tablets are available and largely marketed for leg cramps. Well, it helps with that, too. Think of those in five uh, 500 to a gram per tablet. Quinine in tonic water has about 80 milligrams per liter. Uh, lots of martinis can be made with six liters. Available online. Haven't checked local stores. Well, uh, fraud. It's simple. Uh, the uh, camping stores, places with uh, that sell rods and reels, that sort of thing. They got it. What was Neil Keenan been? Hasn't been up to recently. He's been busy. He has been making sure that all of the details are taken care of, and hopefully we'll open the collateral account soon. He is very central to the coming currency gold standard. He keeps a relatively low profile. Yeah, that's so that people don't figure it out and screw it up. For good reason. But as Neil's activities in reestablishing the world's gold to its rightful guardianship, going to be told about for the world to know of his unselfish and dedicated efforts. Absolutely. Ah, uh, <laughs> was there evidence that any of this, that was real? Yeah, David, uh, I know it's real because I talk to other people. 
and they confirmed it. Neil Keaton's website, <laughs> uh, website, lots of legitimate info. Also find much history about the banking and currency, world economic info, et cetera. Yes, he is as real as it gets. A lot of people say, ah, what do you, you know, they're not going to entrust the world to an old fat Irishman with an attitude problem. Uh, well, he also happens to be um, the Amana, whom uh, in that position controls it. Think about that carefully. In the self promotion, keeps low pros. That tax is a, he's had many assassination attempts. Um, good reading and enlightening, yeah. <laughs> and you put www.neilkeenan.com in there. Good deal. Thank you. Ron Leonard, are the corporate, are the corporate and bank bailouts in the people's interest in any way? Yes. As a matter of fact, it is. And the reason for that is that guess where the cash is coming from? Uh, central banking system, and the Treasury has the printing presses running 24/7, so that we got we can flood the place with cash. Here's the deal: um, the needy get it. The companies now you got corporate uh, and bank bailouts. No, the banks are going to be conduits for the bailout in terms of cash. Now think about that very carefully. Remember they said direct deposit? Well, that means they've got to have enough cash on hand to be able to uh, take care of any kind of a rush. About half a year ago, you mentioned E.T. had flying craft to give us. Yeah, I get one. There's only certain special people who get one right off. See a video walkthrough of one and some demonstrations of the capabilities. Well, try and catch a UFO. <laughs> Several governments have been trying to snag one forever. Unless they crash, they don't get a hold of them. They don't make videos. You just have to live. You just have to wait. Well, no, there's videos of uh, UFOs out there. You make good videos and release them now. They can come here from such far distance. I'm sure video is no problem. But that's true, David. Very true. Ah, uh, who? <laughs> If Trump was in contact with Keenan about collateral accounts, then why is Trump signing a stimulus bill and adding more debt to try and fix the current problems? Uh, that's just the thing. It ain't. It's not a straight-up debt. It's basically the manufacturer, manufacturer of currency, so people have got something to work with. For the sleepers, all part of the show. Yeah, well, the show's not near done yet, and uh, you're going to be introduced to the actors, Barbara. And that's going to really be interesting. <laughs> For the debt is what we owe ourselves. It's all fiat or fake money printed out of thin air. Being that the dollar is still the prevailing standard for currency exchange, it has that value. The dollar is monopoly money being used by the deep state. It will be game over soon, and a gold and natural resource standard is to come. That's exactly right. And the deal is that it is made up of uh, a basket consideration of each country, pretty much on a par level, too. Uh, Wade, how soon will the World Council announce itself when it's done formulating to a point where uh, it's a real deal? Now, people have needs and this and that all over the, all over the planet, and uh, what uh, comes out of that is that the uh, nastiest, worst, most uh, extreme needs come up first to include people and location. Uh, when will the humanitarian aid roll out and will the collateral accounts dovetail that? The collateral accounts will be, uh, will be uh, released um, <laughs> long before uh, you get the humanitarian rollout. So, Sooner than we think, Ron says. Yeah, well, we're not going. To, I'm not going to tell you two weeks. Everybody thinks that's hilarious. <laughs> Here's the truth. Oh boy, China released a virus to crash the economy. No, Nelly, sorry. Um, the people I have talked to that I can trust in high places and sensitive positions have stipulated that the deep state, not. Uh, I want you to understand that. Not. They're not. The, the, China, China wasn't as involved as you think. 
what happened was they they opened Pandora's box. Pandora's box turned around and bit them on the ass. They didn't know what to do. They freaked out. Uh, so all of a sudden they started uh, doing whatever they could. Cheryl, just in case they are they are not removed, you need a, a backup plan. Well, we got enough armed people in the United States to fend off anybody that decides to visit without permission. Most two channels have been very honest about being prepared and ready to stand on your own two feet. As a disabled person, this is an event bigger. Uh, this is an even bigger challenge than it should be, but as Drake says, get her done. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. My favorite thing. Larry the Cable Guy, I mean, <laughs> it don't get much better than that. Ah, here's a great question for you. Would you classify the 2.2 trillion stimulus as excessive money printing that will break, break and destroy the current fiat dollar system and break the markets? No. Uh, but it's a precipitous to that. Ha, ha, there's a college word for you. Some of, some of us hillbillies did go to school. Will it lead to a hyperinflation as a way to destroy the entire system? No. The, um, uh, as you call it, quantum financial system, and the gold-backed currency is well underway. Now, that what that means is that uh, uh, Patel... <clears throat> Um, none of the conspiracy theorist uh, horse hockey is going to come about. They're not going to allow that. Did we get $500 billion to bail out the big companies and rig the markets? No, and resort to more money printing, according to Bix Weir? No, Bix, um, Bix does a good job in terms of supposition, in terms of what ifs, but not uh, not as much in terms of the actual uh, reality of what's going on. I wish he did. I like the guy, but uh, there's li- limits. Are we heading to the breaking of our current system and debt jubilee and a complete debt write-off of mortgages, taxes, student loans, and credit card write-offs? Okay. The ideology of debt is going to be addressed in the very near future. Expect it. Uh, according to Bill uh, Holter, is this a start of a global currency reset? It's a, it is an offshoot of it, or all, all debt that is outstanding. Well, even countries' debts will be mitigated. I'm not going to say how much or who. Uh, who will pay for all these debts until we write off? Uh, okay. The pay comes from the already um, existing um, what's called true credit. True credit is real um, financial asset, uh, real assets that can be financially tally, uh, tallied. So, yeah, the white hats are running things. That is true, Patel. Um, you said ETs are in control. Well, yeah. Who are they and what, what are their plans? This has already been laid out, um, Elizabeth. Um, ETs are in control. Um, some people have seen the uh, videos of the tall whites running around on top of the uh, Capitol Dome. Well, <laughs> those are some of the ones on lunch break or whatever you want to call it. The uh, <clears throat> neat part about it is that E.T. has the plans there. And here's the deal. This has been done thousands of times over thousands of years. Thousands of times over the what they offer, even though, even if it's modified, does what it says. Ah, Diana, hey, I'm back. Most likely knows. Kick the, the Jenny zone. Need water and other things. Go for it. <laughs> Patel, yeah. Will we find out the truth of uh, alternate universes and uh, multiverses? Yes. Um, you know, you have to get into, um, you have to have a high enough security clearance and or, and or trust in order to get that information. I'm not going to explain any, any of that in detail yet. It'll come out when it's, when it's best for it to come out. New Zealand is locked down. Is the prime minister cabal or has she flipped? Uh, New Zealand needed to be locked down. A lot of traffic going through there. 2020 census. There will be no political parties. 
<laughs> what need do we have for this? Well, the government would like to be nosy and find out how many washers and dryers you got. You got cash on hand. You got some gold and silver. Oh, just nosy. Okay. Here's the deal with the census. And, Joe, I'm glad you asked about it for the simple fact that uh, the legal requirement for a census is how many people live in a particular dwelling, period. That's a stop of it. They don't have any legal right, um, <laughs> moral or otherwise, to question you about how many how many uh, rounds of ammo you got for your guns. Uh, political, social, economic, dem- dem- demographics. Okay, the government always wanted to know everything about everybody. They feel safer, fraud, uh, when they, the more they know about individuals. Due to the fact that I do this show, everything I do, and I, I'm going to be real frank up front and uh, open about this, everything I do is uh, listened to, recorded, uh, et cetera. We even have some people that visit regularly who are uh, intel officers so that they can find out what's going on in terms of other things. How dangerous would I be for uh, <laughs> Very dangerous. They have it. Ibuprofen will kill you. Kill you. And I don't recommend you take it uh, for any reason. I'd rather take opioids straight up. Uh, of course, your opinion should only be what you have experienced. Well, I had a problem with my kidneys, and ibuprofen was pointed at because I did it heavy for a while because I'm in pain most of the time. Um, will the China virus run amok <laughs> when inflammation is suppressed? Uh, no. Uh, Zyphomans, yeah, with Z. Look that up. You want to, if you've got problems with uh, swelling and that sort of stuff, it fixes it. I'm hearing that these coronavirus relief payments to the people that are supposed to be temporary are really a prelude to introducing universal basic income. No. It would be interesting if they would try that, but no. Um <laughs> uh, Trump's already talking about putting people back to work, so that sort of negates that. If this is a brother, universal income, where does it come from? That's the problem. They have a limited amount of things they can do in terms of the amount, in terms of um, uh, the amounts they can uh, play with. So it can't happen. Saint Germain ain't got nothing to do with this mess. Bear that in mind. Saint James Trust is. Uh, Stands on its own. On its own. Oh, we'll get that on top of what I earn at my job. Uh, you're going to get. <laughs> here's how it works. Everybody is supposed to get a check, according to what uh, you know, what you need, uh, or etc. That happens, and this whole economy will be ready to turn around. Why do I say that? Well, as soon as they start opening places back up, after they get the uh, quinine out to everybody. And cure this this mother of a <laughs> flu. Uh, do you really think that cabin fever probably will have uh, done its work? Can you imagine having uh, <laughs> several kids at home? Ooh, think about a house full of teenagers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, so you know uh, what's going on is that it will open up and it will do so sl- suddenly, and there will be a flood of demand. Seriously, being what it is has probably created its own money. The problem has been that it is letting, or was forced into letting, the Federal Reserve do it for them. Now it's the Treasury. They changed that. The Federal Reserve is not doing that. They're not allowed to any longer. Unless, of course, they want to close up the home. Jonathan, when will the wage garnishments for students' loans end? It's supposed to be on abeyance right now. And here's the other part. Uh, student loans are being looked at very carefully in terms of uh, negating them. Think about that very carefully. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to announce it when the military goes door to door, those injections, and try to explain that that they're safe. Uh, now you don't get it. Um, they're going to have uh, open uh, clinics, uh, whether it's a tent or whatever, or a clinic down the block one in a small town or whatever, okay, very simple. Uh, You don't have to get an injection. You get the tablet, put it in some water, and drink it. It won't hurt you. I I took this stuff for a year in Vietnam, and it didn't do anything nasty to me. 
uh, other than when I first started it. <laughs> I got the runs, better known as the GIs. Uh, many people are not going to be okay with the Gestapo door to door. They're not. They're not doing that, Jonathan. They're not. This has been well thought out. It's not. Uh, they're not that insidious. It's not ever be held accountable for their cover up and lies and forced to pay restitution and the people that come to result from this virus. Uh, China is not responsible for it. But <laughs> what we need to do is uh, do a number, and I mean a big number, a nasty one on the deep state. That needs to be ended the hard way. You know, kind of a godfather deal. Uh, we, won't cut, we won't cut your crotch off if you comply one of those numbers. Uh, well, China's obvious tentacles in the World Health Organization ever be cut. It already has. Uh, <clears throat> right now, we are looking at manufacturing our own drugs and cutting China totally out of it. Think about that very careful, Jonathan. Uh, will the World Health Organization ever be held accountable in China to cover up? Uh, World Health Organization is uh, most of them are due to go to jail. Uh, they've been doing things that they know they're not supposed to do, et cetera. The uh, EGCG green tea extract help. Anything you do that is um, positive helps. Elderberry extract. Elderberry. Nah, well, uh, no, uh, not, as, <laughs> not as much as uh, host defense. Uh, you want you want the, the the things that you should be looking at. Host defense is one of them. Twenty different kinds of mushroom extracts. That's first. Zinc. It stops the capability of a virus from attaching to your cells. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. What's the other one? Dandelion. It cures most of those things. Then if you, then if you add a little bit of uh, add a uh, capsule of. Uh, um, Trying to think of the name of it. I hate that copper. Uh, you get those. You get those going. You're not going to have any very much trouble. Now, if you rinse your hands with uh, apple cider vinegar, can't have anything on there. Most everything that's known won't survive that. Wash your hands real good. Put a cap full in, in your hands. Rinse it on there. Dry your hands. You're done and good to go for a long time. Uh, you could add it to spray bottles and, you know, really take care of things. Prison dumps keep getting mocked for saying windmill cause cancer somehow. That They do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, let's put it this way. Uh, you, you're probably talking about the ones that uh, are power-oriented rather than the ones on the farm that pump water. Um, there are a lot of... Elderberry is not going to do as much as you think. Uh, <laughs> that's why it's mentioned apple cider vinegar. President Trump keeps getting mocked the way uh, windmills. Well, I'm sorry, but yeah, the power jobs do invoke uh, a frequency that causes cancer in human beings. Ooh, and it also they also have a tendency to chop up a whole bunch of um, birds. And no, you're not going to get rid of them right away. That's going to take a little while. We're well, doing the national quarantine. It's still doing the national quarantine, March law, to enforce it? No. National quarantine. Uh, will we be all forced to stay inside our homes for three weeks? I don't think so, because it only takes about, oh, 10 days, give or take, depending on how many people get the um, quinine, to eradicate the virus. Is there to be any notice? Yes. Uh, it's a pretty good way to round up the bad guys with uh, minimal collateral damage. You got it. <laughs> and they are doing it. No, money system on ODG. Yeah. True that Apostle Paul, oh, good Lord, for the New Testament of the Bible was never truly converted to early Christianity. Uh, not true. <laughs> you might want to uh, check your uh, biblical references on that. Ah, uh, can replicators be replicated? Of course they can, but you got to have one bigger physically than the one that you're making. If so, why are these buildings instead of replicating them? They are replicating them. Now, I want you to understand, you can put about between six and eight of 
our largest um, flat tops uh, naval ships inside a mothership, and that's just the storage. Now, consider the fact that uh, a stovetop microwave oven is about the size of a replicator. Think about how many you can put in one of that. They want to be absolutely ready to go when it's time. Can replicators replicate gold, silver, and gems? They can, but um, they, there's a way. They leave a um, identifying print on it on valuables, so they can be. You can find out what it is. Can fermented foods be transported? Yes. The beam me up part is not the problem. And the problem is that replicators don't do well with something that's fermented, be that bourbon or <laughs> sauerkraut or whatever. There's a lot of things that go into this that people just don't uh, quite get. Replicated cabbages? No. I wouldn't. Uh, you get, again, you're playing with fermentation. Replicators don't do good with fermentation. Uh, you could go up normal. You could, you know, um, whatever you put in a replicator and program it uh, to accept in terms of uh, uh, information on whatever you stuck in it is what it produces, whatever you put in there. So, uh, body ecology diet is great info. Yeah, it does. Uh, there's some things that people need to learn. We don't come with instruction manuals, so it kind of screws things up. Uh, I think you said our replicators won't be as advanced as the 1ETs have at first. This is true. You don't want somebody can eat, can you ever make fermented foods properly? Uh, no. <laughs> I'll say it again. It don't matter what the replicator is or how far it goes or any of that. It, it's just simply that replication don't do a good job at that, okay? Um, our replicators won't be as advanced as the ones ETs have at first. This is true. It will not reproduce nuclear weapons, among other things. Um they think we're, uh, E.T. thinks we're kind of odd for even fooling with that, but, Jay, who listen to you and Gay on a short video about the E.T.'s. made me remember that last night I dreamed there was a spacecraft in there. I went, to, went out to look at it, then two E.T.'s appeared before me. We laughed. <laughs> Fun, ain't it, Jay, when reality visits? What's your take on ch chaga, chaga mushrooms as a tea? It's good. It's good for you. But you need all of them, like 20-some that are found in the host defense. Can't the author be referenced? Are he Zionist lions then be arrested for misleading the public? That probably is coming, Karen. Federal Reserve um, really folded into the Treasury Department. No. Uh, <laughs> the Treasury Department took over a whole bunch of the operations of the Federal Reserve to the extent that the Federal Reserve ain't got nothing to say about it, most of it. Bear that in mind, and that was done quite some time ago. George, so Soros, Gates, Winfrey, and so other riches around the globe, hire a gal out of Canada, hire a biologist whom they uh, set up a lab with Wu, who China, <laughs> China to design a virus to help their organization depopulate the world, supposedly, Supposedly, so why is China being blamed? Well, very simple, Johnny. Um, it happened in uh, Wuhan, I believe. That was that's there's a laboratory just outside of that uh, small town, and that laboratory is where they opened Pandora's box. And it wasn't the Chinese exclusively; it was the deep state. They ordered it. And yes, uh, Agenda 21, 25, 30, whatever, 50, whatever you want to look at it as. Depopulation, yes, that was one of the things. Uh, and toilet paper shortages, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, a lot of dummies went and bought uh, terrible amounts of toilet paper. I mean, they're either very shitty people <laughs> or very paranoid. ACV can only make one alkaline, which is not a good environment for any bug or sickness. ACV. And I take down that the fat coating on any virus, and the Chinese virus has a fat coating. Oh, boy. Looking out for other uh, systems that will take out the 
fat coating. Well, exactly why soap works so well. Well, you need soap, I guess. <laughs> Your system might not agree with the idea, but uh, you can do that with lots of other of uh, uh, lather, it breaks down the fat barrier. Just, yeah, I'm not trying to be disrespectful at anyone, <laughs> Joanne. That's about the coolest thing I've heard in a long time. So what you have to look at is this. Quinine works because it has acidics that do break down the barrier enough so that it can uh, kill it. Just that simple, not complicated. Now, um, everyone needs to get ready. Now, changes are coming, as I have stipulated. Only the implementation, implementation of a one-world government representative system uh, expect those ETs to come uh, to make contact and land. They're going to be bringing care packages, stuff we need. One of those is a really neat um, preventative of just about every disease we are familiar with. Now, like I said, everybody needs to get ready. Changes are coming. If... You want to know what's going on, watch for diplomats coming to D.C. There will be special flights or uh, accommodations made in terms of getting this thing to uh, where it needs to be. So what we got is this. Very simply, everybody needs to watch what's going on, be prepared, be ready. Do what I told you in terms of the natural natural path that I've uh, put out and expect a really interesting results. In the meantime, go out there and get her done.